Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe for this and many more videos. Um, let's see, what are we doing today? Um, I am going to try my best to muscle my way through this video. I have been... I've just been like, oh yeah, we bought a new field. The last couple of days, I feel like my energy level has been ridiculously low. And so, um, haven't really been in the mood for, wait, I haven't really been in the mood for recording. Ah, here we go. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start him up. Like I've wanted to record, but I haven't been in the mood. Do you, you guys ever get like that? <laughs> We're like, We're everybody says, we don't record, Brad. We don't know what you're talking about. I just, I don't know, I just haven't been feeling it lately for some reason. I mean, I have, but like, I, again, it's like my energy level. Oh, come on. Oh, it's because I don't have the worker hired, that's why. That's why. All right, so now I've got the worker hired. And he's going to take off and do his thing. And I'm just going to back this guy up so that he doesn't have any problems with the, the rock picker. Um, now comes the really fun part. Because we've got field 34 to spray. Now... Um, let's see. I did go ahead and I did install that mod that I was telling you about. Precision Farming. So, I don't know how this is going to work. So, let's see. It says deactivate automatic application rate. We can see up at the top. Change nitrogen reference value. See, I don't know what any of this stuff means. Um, if I look at the map, we now have this satellite view. And we don't have any type of soil sample. Now, I don't know. I know loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, silty clay. Those are all soil types. Not exactly sure what they mean. These are soil pH values. So this is what you would, well actually no, here's the nitrogen values. pH values is what you would use for uh, like spreading lime or not. And then nitrogen is fertilizer. And then I think this is actually, it says yield. I'm, I'm assuming that means like extra crop yield, but I don't know, cause yeah. So I'm gonna see what happens here. It it honestly looks like it's just using, let's see if I hire the worker, it looks like it's just using the normal amount of, of herbicide. Okay, so he's moving there. And then we're almost done here. Now, one of the things that we are gonna need to do, and I have to remember, I think it's here, and I think it's under miscellaneous. Yeah, this, and then, let's see, when, when soil sampling unit, with a soil sampling unit, you can take soil samples to have more detailed information about a field for future working steps. And then crop sensor, you can measure the real nitrogen uptake of the crop to apply a more 
precise fertilizer. Like these, this is pretty straightforward. I have not used this one yet. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead, we're gonna buy one of these. And then, let's see. Oh, so that, oh, we might actually need to buy this sprayer. Cause that, that, that John Deere, I don't know if all the other sprayers work with the mod. Like, you know, like it's supposed to work. I just don't know. Um, so we're almost, almost finished here. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh no, he's still working. Okay. So, let's look Oh, brother. Okay. I, I don't know that precision farming actually works with weeding though. That's the other that's the other question. I just yeah, that I don't know. Then I guess we're just going to go kind of just right down here. Contract on field 34 is finished. All right. So let's go ahead. Whoops. And claim that. Now, now then we've got field 20, 22, and 67 for fertilizing. And I think what I'll do... I'm just going to buy another pallet of fertilizer, uh, herbicide. We can fill it up. We can just take this back to the farm. And then I don't know. Yeah, I don't know exactly where I took the fertilizer spreader. Oh. Now I might be able to hook the, uh, I guess this is like the soil analyzer. We're gonna try to hook this up to the front of the tractor. Okay. Okay. So if you guys are precision farming pros, you're probably gonna need to give me some help and some tips because I did use it a little bit on my, I've got like a testing profile. So I did use it a little bit on that, but I haven't, I definitely haven't dug into it fully. So you're gonna need to tell me like, what it works, what kind of equipment it works with or what it doesn't work with, because I'll be honest, I don't know. All I do know is I'm, I need to go and do like soil samples of my farm.
All right. Now. I thought he was going to be full. Okay. knock it over. Alright, so. So I think we actually have to lower this. Yeah. And then we have to hit X to unfold the sampling unit like so and then I guess we just hit B and you can see on the mini map it's going to take soil samples and I guess it's for like that whole region that whole area that I just sampled so we're going to want to go every so often I feel like this is the the soil sampling from uh, Gold Rush. That's what this reminds me of. And as you guys know, that took forever. And I don't know if we can automate this. I don't know if I can hire a worker to do this or not. I'm just going to see. No, see, when I hire a worker, let's see, create job, go to, yeah, there's just a go to. So, yeah, I guess we have to do all of this manually, which is going to kind of suck. At least this is more automated than than what we had in Gold Rush. Now what happens if I do a soil sample here? Interesting. So let's see what we can see. Um, so it's just soil sample taken. Okay. I guess it doesn't... Oh, I think we actually... Uh, let me lift this up. I think we actually need to go and... Like, once all the soil samples are taken, I think we actually have to pay for the soil samples. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a moment. I hit H and I had to hire a worker instead of B to 
to actually do the, the soil sample. Ah, I did it again. Okay, he's almost full, so let's get ready to go out and unload. I have a feeling he's going to... Yep, there we go. He wasn't going to last long. And I'm going to see if I can kind of overlap these fields a little bit, or a lot of bit. Now since these fields are already fertilized and everything, I. I'm not sure that this is really going to give me much useful information. And I don't know if we have to do this like every season. I don't know how often. I don't know how this works actually. I kind of see this as more. I mean, it looks really nice, the equipment. But I think this is just more a way to kind of get a little bit more realism out of Farming Simulator. Okay. And again, just doing the soil samples here. Oh, did I? I guess I already finished the well, whatever field it was. Um, see, outdated data. There's no data. So yeah, this is just soil samples taken. I'm I've not taken any on fields. Or field 44. Um, I do kind of feel obligated to do it on my new field. Maybe that's where I should be.
85 percent that was on the the uh, rock picker and if you're wondering why my camera's going all over the place again I am using my Toby eye tracker so whenever I look down at my keyboard that's what that's why I'm looking down And then if I blink really fast, it does that. And we'll do this, and it looks like we'll just have a really small patch to do. And... Okay, so that's turned on. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, there's not going to be any data that we're going to be able to get from these fields. Okay. Part of me actually wants to buy another rock picker, but... They're so flippin' no, they're pretty expensive, really. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna take our booger picker over here. And offload him. Okay. $1,286. Harvest income. I've harvested rocks. Uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know what he's doing. I think it has to do with the fact that the field slope over here is kind of weird. So I'm kind of worried that I'm going to have problems moving forward with this field. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on him. Uh, 
let's see. Ah. Soil samples. Yeah, this is about as boring as it looks. <laughs> So, for all of you precision farming pros out there, how often do I need to do, to do this? How often do I need to take soil samples? Uh-oh, I think I missed... I think I missed like a little tiny bit of the field, but that's all right, I guess. Yep. See, this is it's doing the same thing. It's going the it's going the wrong way. And I think it's just because of the way this field is sloped. Yeah, there did you there's a there's an option that says send samples for analysis. And then I think we get a a screen that pops up where we actually have to pay for the analysis. But I'm just going to wait until I'm I've got all of my samples done. on it. <clears throat> Why is he turning the wrong way? I don't know. I don't know.
I wonder if we're going to get charged money for each of these soil samples, which is probably going to get super ridiculously expensive. I would think that it would charge on a per sample basis like it would in the real world. Or at least like I think it would in the real world. As much as I would love for this to all be able to be in one sample, I don't think I have a couple crusty spots there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the Y button you will see the results on the soil types map soon. All right. But how soon? Gosh darn it. He's just like not wanting to go the right way. I wonder... I'm gonna try to start it from this end. Maybe it'll just move west. I don't know why giants can't, like haven't fixed that problem. You would think it'd be pretty, pretty obvious. So now I'll just hire the worker here and we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, let's look at the soil map now. So that doesn't look any different. Neither does any of this. Oh, the laboratory is anal analyzing 53 soil samples. Okay. So I guess I'll just start sampling over here. That's about all I can do. I can't believe that was 53 samples.
I feel like I'm not taking the samples in like a proper pattern, but I don't know. Oh! So something just happened. So it looks like we got some, let's see, loam, yeah. So we got some sampling data back, even though I didn't send the samples off for, for this field yet. Did any money come out? Twenty two per cent, really? It almost seems easier to do in, in with this mini map than it does the square one. about there. So we can't, we've we got the, the outer circumference of the field. A headland, if you will.
So we're up, we'll probably have around 30 samples, maybe a little less. Maybe 28, I don't know. If doing this helps me save money on fertilizer later in the game, then I guess it'll be worth it. Twenty-five, oh. I'm surprised that the whole one side of the field was constantly filling up with rocks, and yet this side of the field has not. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. So, so we're going to send these for analysis. And let's see, I've got $172,000. Let's go ahead and fold the sampling unit up. That should be all the fields that we own. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, whoops. I might as well start seeding and we're gonna plant soybeans out here. I may even buy field 56 after the next sell-off, join these two fields together and just have like a big, massive... I, I, I kind of thought about like killing those trees right there and widening these fields, but I actually like the look of those field or those trees. Oh, 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 it's magic. Let's see, so there's the pH. Okay, so this is nitrogen. That means it must be fertilized. And then yield. God only knows what that means. All right. Okay, so there, 1,250 for the soil analysis. So, let's see. Did, okay, so now we've got, we've got everything back and we can see all of, basically everything that's on our field. We can see everything. Uh, let's see, deactivate automatic, deactivate automatic application rate. And then what was the other thing? So there's an automatic seed rate and application rate. Okay.
Alright, so let's fill these up. Or, well, you know. Nitrogen mineralized fer fertilizer application. Fill the rest up with seed. Ah. Okay, so that's coming up with our nitrogen. So once we start seeding, it's going to fertilize with nitrogen pellets or whatever. And that nitrogen should go away, right? Right. And yet it doesn't. Seed is going down. Let's see what's going to happen. Standard. Seed rate standard. Interesting. So it's literally not using any. Well, let's see. Interesting. We don't have... We don't have the fertilization thing on here anymore. Do, do, do. We we'll see weeds. Uh-oh. All right, so he'll be done pretty soon. Okay, so this guy, let's get him back to the farm. Now I saw in one of the screenshots for this mod that they actually had this attached. I think it was to the back of a like one of the little John Deere, um, go, I want to say go-karts, but it's not a go-kart. Like one of the little John Deere ATVs or PTVs, or I don't know what they're called. So, oops. So, let's see. Let's go back to miscellaneous precision. With a crop sensor, you can measure the real nitrogen uptake of the crop to apply more precise fertilizer rates. Okay. So, 
at a later date, am I supposed to scan all of my crops? Where did I put the... Oh, there it is. Okay. Deactivate, okay, change nitrogen reference value. Okay, so there we go. So, whoops. Deactivate automatic, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fertilize this field. It looks like it is taking fertilizer. I think I might be too far to the right. Yeah. Oh, cool, look, you can see the field change. Great, now I'm too far to the right. Feels like it's like not slinging it out like it used to. Okay, so these are actually crops here. And then how's it going to work for the grass? Uh, change work with, all right. So if I've already gone over it, it's not even spraying anything out right there, and it stops. So it's not actually spraying anything out, unless, I guess, unless it can like hit areas that need fertilizer. Interesting. I mean, the fertilizer sprayer is on right now. I wonder how this would change with a hired worker. Look how much, look how much it's spitting out the G M N A. That's a lot. All right, so I'm going to hire the worker. Oh my gosh. Well, 
Well, let's get... I need at least two of them. All right, select destination. You are going to go up here. And all right, so this guy's all done. So let's unhire him. I'm gonna fold this bad boy up. Let's offload that last bit of rock. And then I'm going to grab the roller and I'm going to start rolling the field. Oh. So I'm wondering if it's having us use a lot of nitrogen up front because we've just installed this mod. And that later on it's not going to use quite so much nitrogen fertilizer. Does that make sense? I don't know. Why am I... What needs to be repaired? The tractor? Or the fertilizer spreader? Well, we'll repair both. Uh. So let's go over to our grass fields. And I'm gonna I'm gonna check on those.
Ah. All right, so I'm going to hire a worker here. Man, look at him burning through that. Look at that. We've already used 5% of our fertilizer. Wait, which one of you guys was like, no, Brad, you'll use less fertilizer? But again, it could just be like later on in the game, I'm going to be using less fertilizer. Let's hire a worker here again. Gosh, we've already used a quarter of our fertilizer. Okay. So now we're going to have soybeans that we can sell. And actually, speaking of soybeans, uh, let's see, we do have a, a few that we can sell. And looks like probably end of June or July, we'll want to sell the, those. So I've decided to run at least for a season using precision farming. I don't really know that I like it yet. Like I played with it a few hours uh, over the weekend, probably three or four hours. And I don't think I really got into it a whole lot more than I have just in this episode, to be honest with you. Okay, so I think I'm going to disconnect that first. And then, not sure really what I want to do. Uh, how are we doing on, I don't think there's any weeds. Okay, he's still fertilizing. So, let's see, weeds, yeah, not seeing any weeds, I don't care if things are mulched, yep. So just that one field and he's pretty much out of fertilizer. 
So yeah, fertilizer's taken a massive hit. And again, you know, maybe later, maybe later it won't. I just don't, I just don't know. And we're almost out, and we are out. Man, this is going to be a ton of, whoops, ton of fertilizer. Might as well just buy it all now. I'm doing skateboard tricks on the fence. That totally wouldn't make sense, but... <laughs> Man, we're burning through money on this fertilizer right now. Everybody's probably just saying, Calm down, Brad. It'll be okay. They're like, it's so more, it's so much more realistic now. You have no idea. Okay. Okay, I see that the cedar appears to be stuck in the woods. Oh, here's going to be a real test right here. Wait, watch, watch and wait. Wait and watch, wait. Just... All right, so there's going to be a little sliver. You're going to see it up here. It's going to be a little sliver of fertilizer. Right there. See it? So let's go down through here. Let's we'll, we'll see what it does. We're still... Putting out quite a bit. Is it based on width? Oh, yeah, it is. It's based on width and not girth. So if we go right up the field like this, should be golden for a while. All right. So this guy, epic failed here. I mean, this field's going to, since it's even bigger, it's going to need even more fertilizer. So I'm just, I'm guessing that it's just, it's got to be just putting it on like really heavy right now because it's like the first application under, you know, the precision farming mod. Oh. And why... Turn off seed, deactivate. 
So why isn't it... Let's see, what if we deactivate automatic application rate? Then what happens? There's still no fertilizer coming out. So what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Like literally, no, it, it used no fertilizer. So that was kind of fail. So yeah, I just don't, oh no. Did he? Man, we've already burnt through half our fertilizer. Yeah, look at this up here. It just like messed, missed the whole part of the field. What was going on there? And we got to get the corner here. Boop. All right. Man, I cannot believe how much fertilizer we're burning through. I just can't. I don't want to believe it. Now, okay, so let's see. Turn on fertilizer spreader. So if I de deactivate the automatic rate, Let's see what happens now. See now, let's see. The pH level stays the same. But what if I just sit here? See now it's not it's not even a applying anything. Oh, it is. Well, not really. Oh, it is. 1378. Oh, maybe it's not. Hmm. Ah, KM. Oh, so... Okay, so that's where I want to be, right? No field found. So we say app. Okay, why is it doing this now? So it only works if you have the automatic application rate enabled. So I guess that means 165, 160, 150 kilograms of nitrogen per hecta hectare hecta acre <sighs> 
Okay. So it is my thinking that as we continue on, we're not going to be able see up here, see at the top left, see how the little finish, like the, the checkered flag keeps increasing or decreasing. I think that it, because we basically have no nitrogen in the soil right now, it's basically just putting it on at the maximum to reach whatever target value that is. I am thinking that, because because otherwise, if you just like put 100% of nitrogen on your soil every year, you'd probably burn your fields up in the real world. And so I think that's kind of what's happening here. Does that make sense? All right, how are we doing with the roller? Okay, the roller is still rolling. We're doing all right here. Okay. I'm gonna hit these little red spots over on this field too. Ooh, why did it? The other question then becomes how much fertilizer do we do we use on fertil uh, like fertilization jobs? Cuz if we're, if we're busting out that much fertilizer it is going to get expensive quick, real quick. So really, like, the verdict is out. I don't know whether or not I really like this mod yet. I know a lot of people love it. Um, especially because so many people have been <clears throat> asking me for the past few months, Brad, get precision farming, precision farming, precision farming. Um, I, I just don't know if I like it yet.
Okay, I don't think we need to do a full width. Yeah, probably right there is good. It's interesting also how the small mini-map zooms in and out depending on the, the need of the fertilizer. All right, so let's go over to our, our big field and let, we're gonna get fertilizing on that one. Okay, since this is just grass, we can, we can just go on over it. Okay, maximize the width again. And... So wait, we can't... So can I, wait a second, can I not put fertilizer on a field? I guess I can't put fertilizer on the field until it's growing. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, let's see. Ooh, one of the field, let's see, 67. Where's 67 at? I think that's, yeah, it's way down there. I'm not going to worry about that. Um... Let's see here. Yeah. We've been going for almost an hour and a half. So this is going to be a good stopping point. Um, so we've gotten started with... With the precision farming stuff. Again, it seems to me like it's pretty freaking expensive. But... Um, we're going to come back in the next episode... And, and I'm going to try to, you know, we're going to advance a month because we still have, we still have this guy rolling. So I'm going to let this guy finish off screen uh, between now and the next episode. And then when we jump back in, we'll be all ready to go and we'll just be able to, to head into June. And it's, it's May here in the real world. It's May here in the game. And, um, yeah, we'll be in June and... Maybe ready for our first cutting. I don't know. We're going to see how that grass grows. We might even wait until July. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to hit that like button. If you've enjoyed the episode, leave comments. Let me know how I, you know, let me know what I need to do to make the most out of precision farming. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for this and many, many more videos. We're almost to 97,000 subscribers uh so thank you to each and every one of you who hits that subscribe button helps me out tremendously in my push for 100,000 subscribers well that's it this has been farming simulator 22 with precision farming i am bradham 73 and i'll see you next time bye for now